It's gonna take a lot for this show to be better than the baseball episode. After seeing Maki in a baseball uniform, I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna top that. But with all that shit out of the way, let's get to the show. You know when an episode starts and you know someone's gonna die, even though it just started. I don't know who this motherfucker is. That's why he's dying. And the music that 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 demented music is playing, he's dead. 100%. 102%. I bet my channel he's about to die. I can't see what did he die? He was confirmed dead inside the entrance of his apartment on June 23rd. <laughs> Bro, this dude's forehead has a forehead. I have to get used to seeing cars in anime. What are they watching porn in the back? Or oh no, they're looking at what's that? Okay, okay, I get it now. Ooh, I love a lady in a suit. Mm -hmm. That's a boss bitch right there. <laughs> what a poor soul. <laughs> I love death. And murder. <laughs> Cancel me for saying that. I dare you. That triple dog dare you, motherfucker. This motherfucker is rolling a blunt on the middle school property? Bro, that's like the definition of a jock in like a 90s film. Like, look at this guy. Look at like Johnny Bravo over here. Oh. -ho. <laughs> See, she knows. Look at these, look at these punks over here. The local punks. <laughs> yeah, they get it. I'd do the same thing. I'd get on my knees for her. They know daddy. <laughs> he went to school? I can't even imagine that. Baka A and Baka B. <laughs> and they answer. You better fucking answer. <laughs> Yes, my man. Where were you in my school? Bro, is the teacher gonna get on his knees too for Fushiguru? Listen to the lady in the suit, okay? Mother oh, Grandpa. <laughs> get on your knees! Fushiguru finally getting the praise he deserved since the first scene we saw him. This is what I'm talking about. That makes him even hotter that he was a problem child. It's like Corp said, if she don't got daddy issues, I won't even bother. <laughs> a and B. <laughs> Baka A and B, shut your fucking mouths. If it's a notorious suicide location, how, how about you, you put some surveillance on that bridge? That's like my yearbook quote right there. I'm surprised there are people dumber than me. <laughs> Holy shit. Put a camera in this fucking this area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bungee jumping, all right, to his death. He's not gonna suck your dick. Oh, how, oh, how, how much older? Tell her to hit me up. If she's anything like Fushi Guru, man, get in my DMs. Nicholas Light TV. The fuck is that? It's, you better not do a close up. Keep the camera that distant. Yeah, I am so interested in seeing others consuming Sakuna's fingers. Like, it affects Itadori differently. I remember in the first episode or the second episode of the show, they mentioned that it could kill you. Like, it has like a high, a very high, like 99.9% .9 chance of killing the person that consumes it because they can't handle that. But these high-grade curses, what if they consumed it? Would they become like, like just noticeably like out of this world who knows i just gotta see that like i am so interested in seeing that why oh my god bro why is your head in that position like like you can't move to the right or the left a little bit more why do you have him up there like jesus if you're not gonna show his cock do they look like they care about money this guy has has semen in a jar you think he cares about money i love how how it just taps into that horror element so much at times it has its comedy but but the horror aspect of the show is ah Ooh, I'd blow it. That kind of looks like a suicide location. I, I think they should have at least one guard on site at all times. Is that his dick? 
Pounded fish cake is finally here. Oh shit, I gotta go there. The fuck is this music, man? I feel like I'm about to get exercised. I feel like my head's about to do a 360. Did death rate at 100%? At least put one fucking camera there. Did, 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 did she say to speak? You are Baka 1 and Baka 2. You don't speak unless spoken to. <laughs> Who's that again? You just saw them yesterday. I think there's something there too. I don't trust this bitch. Finally getting a Fushiguru centric episode. I've been waiting for this moment. Ooh, I love her. I love a girl that lies. Yes. Ooh, she's a good liar. I bet she'd cheat on me. <laughs> Imagine lying to her, lying to her, and then she dies because of you. Oh, shit. We need the Scooby-Doo gang for this shit. Get, get the fuck out of here. Yo, what's this music? This, this mission would have been checked off already if Gojo was still here. What is he doing? Is he, is he on the beach? Is he getting a happy ending right now? What's going on? Where is he? Did you did you see what just happened? Oh. oh, hell yeah! The more danger, the better the episode. Yo, this music makes me feel like I'm on acid or something. Like I, I'm, I just took a tab and I'm just like. Like floating, I, like a fucking hot air balloon, just floating. I'm gonna cry, this is beautiful. I'm like, completely into this right now. The music just makes it even better. <laughs> Did you really think they stay home? Fuck. The story and the music just complements it so well. That piano, the way the camera stopped on his face as he was telling the story to build up to that dramatic sentence that his sister is bedridden still. With that piano playing, bro, this show just really knows how to tap into you. It's like the show is a fucking curse itself. <laughs> oh, he's ready! Oh my god. Woo! This next episode is gonna be lit, man! Oh! <laughs> oh, next episode right now. We're getting straight into it, baby. Yeah, come on. Shit, Itadori. God damn, he did not let go on that one, bro. That was consistent anger right there. Oh! He's about to rock bottom him! Bro, I swear I had it. Oh! The action in this show is just god tier. Mixed with this music, I feel like I'm at a club right now. Like, like fight club. Like I'm about to beat the shit out of everyone in attendance. I, I kind of wish that was real. Like I, I have a lot of anger inside of me. Whenever this show's quiet, that means shit's better. Come on you. You're gonna split them up? 
Oh, she. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, my God. She is the hottest. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's being dragged into the, the, the shadow realm. The void. Hell. And she's just so calm about it. She's like, I'll be fine. You whack the mole. I'll whack my mole. <laughs> now we're gonna have like three different battles again, aren't we? Is this motherfucker just watching? It's my older brother. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> she's just called them gay? He says she's like, gay? <laughs> nah, I know she didn't say that, but come on. He's either gay or he just fucks himself. This guy definitely looks in a mirror and jerks off at himself. <laughs> what is that smell? It smells like ass. Meanwhile, Fushiguru's fighting Diglett. Why? This ain't the time to close your eyes! <gasps> the tension, bro! Oh! He's back! That was the first demon! <laughs> oh, shit! The fuck was that? I don't remember him doing that. A spit slingshot? <laughs> this demon's been training, bro. You hear this shit? I've been waiting for this since the beginning. A Fushiguru centric mini arc or something where we learn more about him we get more into his powers because we've barely had episodes or time dedicated to him and who he is learning about his sister this is more of his mission kind of he's fighting this demon by himself Ooh, i like the sound of that <laughs> yes baseball flashbacks are you telling me right now that Fushiguru hasn't brought out his best yet. Or not even half of his best. I'm gonna squirt this video, aren't I? Oh, shit. See, Gojo could be a fucking clown sometimes, but then you have this side of him, where I'm like, rip me apart. <laughs> Forget about me. You'll never even measure up to Nanami. Oh shit. Just pull your pants down and, and take a big diarrhea on him while you're at it. Damn. Oh fuck. Be greedier. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Why am I wearing pants? My good pants. I should have been wearing them. <laughs> Yo, he even, Sakuna even said it. Oh, fuck yeah, come on. Ooh, now he's smiling, he's ready to be greedier. That's for all the money. That's right, this entire show, people have been questioning him. Like, why are you running away? Like, ah, that sucks. You, you, you're so much stronger than that. Like, Sakuna said it, Gojo said it. Like, you have two of the strongest motherfuckers saying that. And I'm sure someone else said it, I just can't remember. Someone really important. But you have all of these people seeing that potential, but you haven't tapped into that potential yet. Oh, shit, I'm afraid. My balls are jiggling. <laughs> you ain't laughing anymore, motherfucker! Oh, I like this! This crazy Megami! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is fucking crazy, man. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 
Oh my god! Oh, that's it. I gotta take these pants off. They're my good pants. No, 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 no. No. Alright. Now I'm ready. Holy god. Crazy version of Fushiguro. I never thought I'd see this. Like, he's lost his marbles. That was the sickest shit. And I bet that's not even. Oh, shit! I want to see Sakuna versus Fushiguro. That is going to be insane if we ever see that. Yeah, man. You, you, you deserve. 10 happy endings. Watash you are not a Koroshima sin. Dakara, not a gi or in a mile after Koroska. Imagine just threatening someone at high school, like, bully me again, I'm fucking off you. Hello. Wait, is that his sister? No, can't catch night. There's definitely a sister. She has those eyes. Oh, they're playing the sad music again. So, Nakuni or Yurushishima. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I just threw a fucking juice box at you. Hell yeah. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> He's like boogie boogie boogie. I would have punched him in the fucking face. I love you, Gojo, but dad, you're just tempting me, brother. <laughs> that irritating man. Blowing him a kiss. Bet she wants to blow something else. Oh, that transition in that music. Oh my god. He calls her stupid, but he loves her to death. Oh, I want to watch this right now, but I know the episode's on its end right now. Ooh. Hit me with a hammer. <laughs> he saw his back! Now she saw his back. Good job. A Fushiguru centric mini arc is what I liked to call it. It was like two episodes based on him. Yeah, we got, you know, both of the other characters as well. But this is more based on him. We got to see his ultimate power at the time because we know with anime, this is even half or one tenth of his ultimate power when it comes to the end of the series, most likely. So I'm not even gonna say this is his ultimate power. I'm just gonna say this is his 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 um his punch. Okay, that was like a little punch compared to what we're probably gonna end up seeing by the end of the show. But that's what I like. It's not exaggerated. It's called growth. These characters grow. They don't stay the same. Like there's other shows I watch, non-anime, whether it's a cartoon or live action shows, movies, these characters don't grow, they stay the same and maybe every now and then they'll have a new move. But with anime, you see them progressively getting better and better. These characters, they're in school, they're supposed to be getting better and better. They're gonna unlock more and more within themselves throughout the series. That's, that's what they are, they're students of what they're practicing of what they're studying in the next episode we're gonna see kuji saki's kugi kuji kuji saki's power and i'm here for that bro i saw her do that voodoo shit with the pins and oh she's gonna tap into her her full potential at the moment because like i said they're constantly evolving and i'm here for that 
because we got a lot of it adority. We barely seen Sakuna, but we're, we're, we're going to tap into these other characters now, and I'm here for that. Anyways, guys, who's your favorite character? That's the question of the day. Who's your favorite character? Out of the three, actually. We're going to say that. Out of the three, Itadori, Kujisaki, and Fushiguru. Out of those three, who's your favorite? Let me know down below. 